All right, so what I'm going to explain here is the modifications I did to this Jeep. Um, what I did is I turned it from 12 volt to 18 volt. Uh, a lot of people have uh, been doing that on the internet, um, but they never explain the ins and outs and what can happen if you uh, make it from a 12 to 18. So this is pretty easy to remove. What I did is this comes stock like this, and these are bullets. That's what they call them. Um, you can get them out of your local electronic store. Um, and what I did is I cut these two in half. Um, you see that's a negative, it's a positive, and put the bullets on both sides. And then the 18, the 12 volt battery comes, this is what comes from the car, goes to the battery, like that. Then I grab the 6 volt, same thing, to the negative and positive. And what that helps to do is, when you hook up both batteries, you hook up your positive to your positive on your 12, and you're basically just jumping two batteries. And then you hook up your negative from this battery to the positive on this battery. That. That's making these two batteries jump together and then you got your negative to your negative. So all it does is go like this, across, over, and back into the car. Okay, um, and then you have this here, and the reason you have this left is this is for your charger. When you got your six um, volt charger in your house, you connect that to the charger, and this goes on, on to, the, to the other uh, two wires on the charger. On the battery, I'm sorry. So this goes to the battery like this, back onto the battery, and then this goes to the charger, the other charger. That's only when you want to charge it. Um, one of the things that they don't explain to you that happens when you switch it from 12 to 18 is that your Jeep would actually drift um, from the speed going too fast. It, when you turn, you're, it'll keep on going straight. So what I did is I grabbed some tires from a bike, old bike like this. They're 16 inch rims. I took off the, the rims and uh, the tires and what I did is I cut them with scissors all the way around and they fit perfectly onto the tire. Another bad thing that happens when you change it from a 16 to, from a 12 to an 18 is that from your tires drifting so much, your tires begin to uh, deteriorate and then you got a problem because your tires are uh, practically wasted. So what I did is I uh, put tires right here on the back ones too. It stopped um, the Jeep from drifting. It also gave me a lot more speed. Uh, um, like I said, EmpowerWheelsModifications.com they show you and they tell you where to go and to buy a kill switch. Um, I will show you the diagram. So what I got is this diagram, I got it on the internet, again you go out modifications, uh, powerwheelmodifications.com, they actually show you the diagram, um, you can pause and look at it from here if you want to do it yourself, but that's where I got it from. Um, so what I did is I installed it, they tell you how to install it, um, this is basically installed here, um, and you also got to get yourself a relay, which is a 12 volt 30 amp relay. You also got to buy it because it doesn't come with it. Um, and I guess you just pop this off right here. You pop this off and that's where you got the wiring harness and um, you connect it all according to the diagram here. Uh, one of the problems that I ish that came about when I put it on is that it turns out that, that you can't um, turn it off and on because I think because of the motors. I don't know if it does anything to the to the remote or why um, I, you only get about, I don't know, I'd say about 10, 15 feet on when it's 18 volt and you get about 30 to 50 feet when it's on 12 volts. Um, so what I did is I put my uh, module and my antenna here and then I put a piece of wood under here so that it'll stop the frequency from getting stopped there. Okay, another thing that I did is for it to have more of a tight turn, the radius turn, see how much those tires, um, regularly the Jeep doesn't come stocked and 
it does the turn very, very, very wide like that. So in order to do this, what I did is I unscrewed it. I mean, I took off the sticker here, first of all, take off the sticker, unscrew these. Then what you do, you want to do is go to the back. You want to unscrew this one here off. Take that off. Then we'll go back to the here. You, so then you would take this off, take that pin off there, and then it has a little stop here. So what I did is I got my knife, took off that stop, and what that stop does is it stops here from moving side to side. There. Cut that off right there. Flipped over my Jeep, and it also has a safety here, right under here. That safety, it's a little plastic that's kind of high right here, and it also makes the tire stop here. So what I did is I grabbed it, cut that piece off completely, now you have a really good radius turn. Okay, so if you follow my instructions on doing uh, the 18 volt, which is 12, 6, you got your 12 volts here, your 6 here, this is the outcome. Um, demonstrate on low. Ready? And go. And this is the kill switch. Off. On. Go. Off. On. Go to 18 now, fast. There you go. Show. One more time. Go, go, one more time. Go, one more time. Faster is better. For any more tips and questions, go to www.avhandyman.com.